Bernardo Acumi. Happy Saturday. Welcome to my channel. This is going to be a quick video because I don't know why my camera on my phone is marking that I have like a little bit of space. So I might have to move some things. Like I have a lot of pictures, but like I erase my videos. So I have enough time. So I have six minutes and 45 seconds. So I have, this is the fourth time I've tried to record. Um, and I tossed out my 13 minute one. So I should have, I guess, left it, but I didn't um, and made it a two part. So I'm just gonna talk fast. So I have for you guys today, these beautiful watercolor Rosa Gallery. It's a Rosa Gallery Stravaganza. I left the last for Lee, I mean the best for last. This is my 14 uh, color classic set that I got from Bromley's. And I have, I'm gonna swatch for you this beautiful um, as well, uh, artist gray watercolors the 10 the newest 10 not the one from last year it includes a gold and a silver so i'm happy about that um, but i'm mostly happy to swatch it i already have this this uh, set in my traditional um and some of the other rosa gallery i have like one two three four like three or four collections and this is like the fifth one but this is my first two so i'm happy about that I also, while I was waiting to swatch this, I got this recently Rosa Gallery watercolor art book. It's a, it is a 50 cent cotton for Briano Unica 32 sheets, A5 size, and you could use it with these three items. I think it's like a mixed media. Um, it is a beautiful, I, I got it through eBay. I'll show you guys, I'll link it below. And it does come with this little elastic. Like I said, I already had filmed some of this and I should have left it at 13 minutes and um, just done another part. Now this end, the first, this is not the actual, this is slick, this is just like the end, um, end paper. And then it starts here, but you can see, like they, um, they glued it. So I left it blank so I could just draw whatever and not swatch. I am gonna do a lot of mostly all, probably all related to Rosa Gallery. This um, this little sketchbook it is quite thick. Um, you could tell that it's like a mixed media. It's I wouldn't say cold press. It's, I actually I would say cold press without because it has no grain, but it might be like a hot press because it's really slick. So I already did this for you. Already had opened it and i just um stamp with this beautiful i like i said this video was going to be very enjoyable but now i have to speed it up because it will stop at that point um if it stops and i'm not finished then i'll just upload it in two parts so here we go we're gonna do first a tube set and then i'm going to um and then we're gonna do the this inside will be the dot cards so let's start with the um Actually, I'm going to pause here so I don't cut it. So we're already at three minutes, Cincy. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pause you and I'm going to dot here. And then if if I can do the dot cards in this video, I will do it in, um, in another video. 